Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about duties and responsibility of an electrical officer or uh, we call it electrotechnical officer ETO. So I have divided this section in three different parts. First one is safety related. Second one is work related. Uh, what job you are going to perform on ship and third one is uh, what extra job in case of emergency or other things which you have to uh, look after. So one by one uh, we'll see each and every part. So first thing I want to tell you that working on ship as an electrical officer is not easy. When the problem comes there will not be multiple mind which will be using their brain to solve that or to troubleshoot that problem because most of the time you will be like alone or or if you have a senior electrical officer or if you have a junior electrical officer he can guide you in troubleshooting that electrical problem but most of the time you will be alone only to handle that situation so it's not that easy game to look after each and every part of the ship in this video you will come to know that uh, the wire is connected to the 99 percent of the equipment and you must know each and every equipment so first thing uh, which you have to take care on ship is the safety so you have to follow safe working practice on ship if you're working on uh, normal electrical thing like 220 440 or if there is a high voltage more than 1000 you have to work safely as per the company guideline also and it is good for you personal safety also that you follow the proper safety one of my chief engineer used to tell me that uh, you came in a single piece Try to go in a single piece only at home. Second one, if you're going to work on any of the system or any of the machinery, you have to isolate it first. Isolate means you have to shut the power for it. Uh, after the power is shut, you have to lock it. There's a lockout, tagout procedure. Mostly you'll find each and every company is having that procedure and they follow it. And they have a uh, different kit for it. So you have to follow uh, the company procedure like a breaker you can lock it you can disconnect the wire you can take out the fuses panel also locking so all these things are there which you can follow and isolate it lock out take out place it and then go for the work because uh, then you will be confirmed that there will not be any risk of electric shock uh, you must follow the proper pp and the next point is uh, you must speak about any unsafe practice which is followed on board like marpol solas is there any bad practice which can affect all the crew also the condition of the ship then you must report to your hod work with environmental compliance follow the company guidelines of like you must not throw the garbage overboard all these things you have to follow now the work format comes so for the work format we have a PMS on SIP. PMS is basically your plan maintenance system. So it is a software which run automatically and daily it will uh, based on the running hour or based on a time interval, uh, it will give you a job. So once you log in with your ID, uh, you will see daily some jobs are there. According to that job, you can plan your work and uh, finish up that job and then update the PMS. So almost all companies are having this system so you have to follow that and a few more documents are there which you need to file it in a hard copy uh, so as per the company you have to follow that also if i talk about the work you have to monitor and look after all the electrical electronic and control system on the ship now one by one i will tell you what those items are there you can assume that on ship 99 percent equipments are connected with wire so if wire is present, there will be a role of electrical officer. So first and important thing is that before going to that equipment or if you're going to solve any problem on that equipment, you have to know the machinery. You have to know how this machinery is working. You have to know how it behaves or you can say you must know in and out of the machinery. So only you can judge what the problem is there, how, why the sensor is activated why this problem came then only you can solve the problem so you have to be ready that it's not like one or two equipments which you are going to handle it's like complete ship from forward to aft and the bottom to the funnel top you have to look after each and everything if i name the equipments like main engine auxiliary engine boiler incinerator sewage your uh, purifier is there ows is there engine room motors lights deck machineries are there on deck you will find hydraulic pumps are there which build up the pressure which run your mooring winches and villas and if you are on tanker then you have a, 
many equipments which are there in uh, CCR as well as your tank radar system, gas system, bridge equipment, navigation and communication equipments, ship, computer network and internet system. So all these things you have to take care. So these comes under your job. Uh, you can see here that I am showing the company a format. It's like duty and responsibility of the electrical officer. It is given by the company. So it is a responsibility of an electrical officer to go through this and follow all these norms. If the power system is available more than 1000. Then you have to safely work on that also. Uh, it's like high voltage it comes under you and you have to take care of that. So all these are equipments which you have to go through. Whatever names I have given like main engine, auxiliary engine, boilers, insulator, sewage, anything. Each and every equipment is having some electrical part and alarms. So you have to test those alarms in a regular interval or based on your PMS, plan maintenance system. So you have to look after each and every alarm, their working procedure, their testing also. If there is any fault, you have to solve it also. So all these things you have to do. Now the last part comes like uh, what is the extra part you have to do. The extra part is it's common for everyone who is there on the ship because these are the role of individual when any emergency comes on ship. Like if there is a fire, any collision or any abnormality which is there on the ship. So you have to keep on practicing on drill that what is your duty and what action you have to follow in case of emergency. So when you join on ship, uh, check the muster list, check that what is your duty in case of fire, in case of a soap up, uh, in case of oil spill or in case of man overboard. So there are various duties which you need to follow in case of emergency. So your duty is already assigned. So you must go through those muster list duties and, and you have to follow those duties in, in drill as well as in the real if something happens and uh, your presence is required during maneuvering because uh, maneuvering is a critical operation uh, when ship is going alongside berth or if it is coming out from the berth it's a crucial time uh, when there should not be any failure in main engine operation or generate any of the operation which affect the ship movement so you have to take care that there should not be any alarm which activate or stop our the operation main operation so your presence is required and uh, chief engineer will also be there. First and most thing that if there is any defect, if you find it in round or during a normal time, you must report to your chief engineer or second engineer. If required, you can ask them uh, that uh, do you need to raise requisition for that? So you can raise the requisition for the required item which you need. If required, you have to mention that critical equipment in the defect list which is there in the PMS system. So all these things you have to follow and in the end you have to follow the company guideline. In last I want to tell you that uh, requisition is also a part of yours that uh, you have to check that if you find any machinery is not working or any alarm system is not working you have to find out the actual fault or any spare you required and then you have to raise a requisition for this. So this is also a part of yours and uh, all these things you have to take care so uh, guys, I hope you are clear with the duty and responsibility of electrical officer. If you have any doubt regarding this, you can write in the comment. Uh, I will reply to it. If you want to know more about something, uh, write me in the comment. Based on it, uh, I will try to make another video and will try to clear the doubts. So guys, uh, this is it for this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.